Verse 8. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. This verse underscores the extensive influence and deceptive power of the beast, where all who are unregenerate and do not belong to God will be swept into false worship. The phrase, all who dwell on the earth, signifies a broad and overwhelming compliance with the beast's authority, highlighting the spiritual blindness and rebellion of humanity against God during the end times. The distinction between the saved and the unsaved is sharply drawn, emphasizing that only those whose names are written in the Book of Life, the eternal record of those redeemed by Christ, will be preserved from this deception. The reference to the Book of Life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world, is profound, affirming the eternal security and divine election of the believers. This concept is echoed in various scriptures that emphasize God's sovereign plan and foreknowledge. Exodus chapter 32 verse 32 recounts Moses' intercession for Israel, where he asks God to blot him out of the book he has written if he will not forgive the people's sins. This suggests the existence of a heavenly record that distinguishes the faithful. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 speaks of a time of great distress, with deliverance promised to those whose names are found written in the book, indicating divine protection and salvation for the elect. The phrase, Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, indicates the preordained plan of salvation through Jesus Christ. This aligns with 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 19 through 20, which states that Christ was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for the sake of the believers. The predetermined sacrificial death of Christ underscores the certainty of God's redemptive plan and the assured salvation of those chosen by Him. The worship of the beast by all whose names are not in the Book of Life illustrates the complete moral and spiritual depravity that will characterize the world during the reign of the Antichrist. This worship is not merely a matter of political allegiance, but a profound spiritual apostasy and rebellion against God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 9 through 12 describes how the coming of the lawless one with all power, signs and lying wonders will deceive those who are perishing because they refused to love the truth and be saved. This delusion will lead them to believe what is false, further illustrating the stark divide between the redeemed and the unredeemed. The concept of the Book of Life serves as a powerful assurance for believers, reinforcing the permanence of their salvation. Revelation chapter 3 verse 5 promises that those who overcome will be clothed in white garments and that their names will never be blotted out from the Book of Life. This eternal security is a cornerstone of the faith, providing believers with confidence and hope amidst persecution and trials. Revelation chapter 20 verse 15 further highlights the significance of the Book of Life, stating that anyone not found written in it will be thrown into the lake of fire, indicating the ultimate fate of the unredeemed. The mention of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world emphasizes the timeless nature of Christ's sacrifice and the eternal scope of God's redemptive plan. It indicates that the salvation of the elect has been a part of God's plan from eternity past, providing a foundation for the believer's faith and trust in God's unchanging purpose. This is in line with Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 through 5, where Paul writes that God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before Him, having predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ. This verse also highlights the spiritual warfare that characterizes the end times, where the true allegiance of every individual is tested. The worship of the beast by those not written in the Book of Life contrasts with the loyalty and faithfulness of the saints who refuse to bow down to false idols. This dichotomy is a recurring theme in Revelation, where the faithfulness of the saints is contrasted with the rebellion of the world. Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 through 11 issues a stern warning against worshipping the beast and receiving his mark, emphasizing the eternal consequences 
of such apostasy. Verse 8 paints a vivid picture of the end times, where the beast's influence is so pervasive that all unregenerate people will worship him. This worship marks a profound spiritual rebellion and is contrasted with the security of the saints whose names are written in the Book of Life. The reference to the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world underscores the eternal nature of God's redemptive plan and the assured salvation of the elect. This verse reinforces the themes of divine sovereignty, election, and the eternal security of believers, providing a powerful assurance of God's unchanging purpose and the ultimate triumph of His plan. The distinction between the saved and the unsaved, highlighted by the Book of Life, serves as a reminder of the importance of faithfulness and endurance in the face of persecution and deception.